three a day stories coming to you from Phoenix City, Alabama. The family of a pregnant woman in Alabama who was one of the victims gunned down by her ex-husband in a triple murder-suicide on Friday spoke out about their loved one's death, revealing new details about the tragic incident and those that were why 35-year-old Jessica Martin and her boyfriend, 40-year-old Richard Cook. Jessica's unborn child also died as a result of this shooting. Jessica and Jeffrey's 14-year-old son was in the house and he witnessed everything when his father came in and just started shooting. Jessica's uncle, Terry Moore, Terry said, I just want to say that Richard really went out like a real man for his family. He stood his ground, and when that man, Jeffrey Martin, came into his house, Richard stood there with a baseball bat against a gun, and he died protecting his wife and unborn child. I came up in the driveway. His son came up running to me, screaming, saying, Richard's dead. My dad shot him in the head. Then he went inside and said, My mom is gurgling. The boy's story is consistent with what police said happened at the house. First responders found Cook dead at the scene from what appeared to be multiple gunshot wounds. Jessica was discovered alive, but she was critically injured. She was transported to the Piedmont Regional Midtown Hospital, where she and her unborn child were pronounced dead. Jessica was eight months pregnant. So Russell County several witnesses in the area reported hearing the gunshots and then seeing Jeffrey Martin flee into a wooded area where deputies with the Russell County Sheriff's Department found him dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. And Lord Investigators have declined to speculate about Jeffrey Martin's possible motive for killing Jessica and Richard. But Terry said the man had recently tried to reinsert himself into Jessica's life after not being heard from in more than a decade. And according to Terry, Jeffrey Martin had been harassing Jessica and actually threatened her the day before he killed her and could. Terry also told that Jeffrey Martin was camping out across the street from Jessica's house stalking her. Even after she called the police to report him, Terry said she called the police, they made a report, and nobody knew he was actually camping across the street. So she came to my house, and she went to another friend's house. They got here, and they wasn't here 30 minutes when he came up, and waited on them to get here. And he was saying, I just want to see my son. Then he did what he did in front of his son. Terry also said that Martin's son was now going to need a lot of counseling. Jessica's younger sister called her the glue of the family and said she was just six weeks shy of her due date. Jeff Although Jessica's family is also accepting donations for funeral arrangements and they can be placed through their GoFundMe campaign which I have linked below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time this is Unjustified.